Uh, well, we went through the mountains, so I'm guessing this would perhaps be the town we're looking for. Calling in! Almost sounds like collagen. Anyway, how's it going? Is that thing really a monster? Stopped right in front of my little girl. As you can imagine, I was terrified for my baby's life. But I really looked at it. Its eyes seemed kind and gentle. Even kind of sad. That may have been Terra. I saw a pretty light. It came here and everyone else was afraid of it, but I felt like it was kind of beautiful. I mean, it was a very nice shade of purple pink and shaped like a lady type. A strange glowing creature screamed through the skies right through here. Scared the ever-loving crap out of me, I'll tell you. The thing took off southward towards Jador. Noted. All right, well, let me make sure that everything that can be done around these here parts is done before I run off, you okay? My younger brother's a bit eccentric. There's a loan up north and is always going on about how he's going to build a coliseum or something like that. That thing. I don't know what it was, but it tore my house to pieces. Some kind of glowing monster screaming like some kind of banshee straight out of hell. Yeah, your, uh, your house don't look too good. Took out a few trees too, it seems. Dang. It's my dream to see an opera at the opera house south of Jador. With a handsome date, of course. Get all dolled up, put on a sequin dress. It'd be a good old time, it would. Look, is that you? You stopped by Rachel's house. Nani? Okay. Rachel. She regained her memory only moments before she passed away. If a man named Locke returns, tell him that I love him, is what she said with her final breath. Ah, oh, well, that's depressing. That's all kinds of depressing, and suddenly I feel a whole lot better about bringing Locke! I wasn't able to protect her. Now, Locke, what sort of treasure are we off to to find today? You're just about to? Supposedly, there's this incredible treasure that's hidden somewhere in this mountain. I just know that we'll be able to find it. You know I'm all about that life. Okay, hello. Look, look out! Rachel! Man, make a leap! R Rachel, you're awake! My goodness. Who? Are you? I, where is? I can't, I can't remember anything. Whoa! It's your fault. It's all your damn fault that Rachel lost her memory. Wait, wait, no, please, just let me talk to her. Let me speak to her. Please, go. Just leave, please. I don't know who you are. These people that seem to be my parents are very upset with you. And it hurts when you're here. Poor Locke. Locke, please understand. Your presence is only hurting Rachel more. It's for the best if she recovers without you making it worse on her. It's for your own good as well. She's gonna have to make a new start of it. With you still here, she's not even able to do that much. That is deeply depressing. An entire year then came and went. And at last I returned to discover that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memories had returned just before she died. And the last word she uttered before she passed away was... My name. I... I never should have left her side. I... I failed her. That would, uh, certainly explain why he was so adamant on, <clears throat> excuse me, why he's so adamant about helping Tara 
even with her memory loss. <sighs> well, wow, okay. We're just, we're just getting hit by all manner of uh, character backstories today, aren't we? Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let, let, let's see what people are selling, yeah? Let's see. More shuriken? What if that means we'll get Shadow back sometime soon? I don't know if there's any chance of that. I feel like I should probably buy some of these. Also, maybe actually check to see what they are. Also, I already had one of those. Oops. Grants invisibility to the thrower. Deals lightning damage to all enemies. I wonder if these only work once. It certainly seems possible, but they're also very expensive. Water damage to all enemies. I'm not 100% sure, honestly. Let's see. What about you? A twist headband. Right, well, I mean, that sounds pretty cool, but it doesn't seem so. It seems to provide some other stats, though. Interesting, interesting. Looks like it would require a bit of forethought, perhaps. That would definitely make some sense. I'll just go ahead and buy myself a... Ooh, that's really expensive. Okay, ethers, you can, you can hold off on that. Let's go ahead and buy at least three of those, though. It's good to just have the ability, you know? All right. That shouldn't have been all of my money. It wasn't. Okay. All right. Decent recharge. Decent recharge. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Oh, let stay away from that house on the eastern edge of town. Crazy old coot sits in there mashing up strange herbs all day for his shady concoctions. Even heard he's got a ghost in his basement. Well, you can't just say stuff like that and expect me to not check it out. That's like the most interesting thing you could have possibly... If you didn't want me to go there, you should have tried to explain it to me as being incredibly boring with nothing of value in it. Where is this crazy old coot? I demand to know what his secrets are. The music implies intense wackiness. Hello. Oh, luck. It's been quite a while it has. Ages even. Oh, that's, uh, worry not, worry not. Your greatest treasure is quite safe. Hee hee hee. Is. Is. A corpse. It's a good thing that I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she. Anyway, the girl hasn't aged a day and never will. Hee hee hee. Had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. It's, it's uh, Rachel. You sure this stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will peacefully rest here forever. And ever and ever! Hee hee hee! If there were ever such a way that we could call her spirit back from wherever she is to her body. A way to call her back from across the veil, eh? You mean like that legendary arcane treasure? Hee hee hee! Yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to call her soul back. Mm, but who knows if this treasure even exists? Hee <laughs> hee hee! Crazy old coot indeed. I failed her. Lock. To think. You carried so much pain inside. Okay, well... I'm going to be honest with you, when I saw the body, I was uh, kind of assuming the worst, if I'm being 100% real with you. But, um, okay, it's a, it's a preservation thing. It's, uh, she, she, she's basically, her body is preserved and unrotting is essentially what this is. Okay, alright. Okay, okay. And, uh, well, I guess, I guess Locke was always a treasure hunter, but... Boy, howdy, does that put a little bit of context on some things now, doesn't it? My, 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 my goodness. Okay. Exploring all of the various rooms in this entire town have paid off, to say the very least. You know what? Let's also just be incredibly sa- Hi, Shadow. We meet again. Then pay no mind to me. I see. <laughs> Bow, 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 dog. Um, okay. You willing to wager that maybe if we only had three people on the team, then maybe we could have had him rejoin? Seems possible. I wouldn't talk to that guy if I were you. 
He's an assassin. You know, a killer for hire. Yeah, there's not really much else an assassin is known for doing. He sure gets some rather shady characters in this place. For instance, take that guy over there. They say he's an assassin. Or at the least failing that, you know, a whole ass ninja. So that's a thing. All right, I don't think that I need to do that. Then again, I'm gonna do it just for the sake to see if, I don't know, maybe something else pops up. Sometimes falling asleep seems to cause information to occasionally happen. Okay, not in this particular instance, but I'm glad I checked. All right, well then I'm gonna go ahead and say that I believe that this town to be basically complete now. If there's anything that can be done around these here parts, I think I've done them. That is going to be my guess. Okay, I think we can mosey on along to somewhere else now. Alrighty, let's see here. Well, okay, then we're attacked by this is a thing that is now happening, it seems. All right. You go ahead and do your thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing. We'll meet down the middle of the road and we'll see what happens. Oh, stole potion. Oh, I guess a thief's knife works like a normal knife, but also the thief command at the same time. If so, that's pretty freaking awesome. Also, is that enough to kill a vulture? It certainly was. Or whatever they decided to call this particular creature. I'm not going to say that I actually know. All right, so I don't see anything I'm going to be able to reach if I go south. But did they say to go south? Or did they say go north? Well, I'm going to go north first. If, there, if I do need to go south, I'll be able to figure it out pretty fast. Dragon's Neck Cabin, huh? Okay. I heard there was an eccentric old man living inside this place. Oh, a bravery ring. Oh, no. what's a bravery ring do? It boosts physical and magical attack power. Dang. Ugh. Well, that sounds useful, but I, I feel pretty confident with what we got. A peaceful world is a complacent world. Humanity's potential is at its best when there's conflict in the world. I've heard this kind of rhetoric before, and I don't much care for it. My Coliseum will be a monument to the glory of battle. If I can ever finish it, that is, no one wants to help me build it. That is fairly understandable. I, I, I don't know if anybody really needs a Colosseum, my dude. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, yeah, nope, it's looking to me. Whoa, boy. A lot like I do need to go south. It looks like there might be a tiny sliver of land for me to be able to walk along, so we'll, we'll give that a go and see what happens. Alright, you go ahead and shank that dude over there. And then, Saban will do what he does best, which is suplex nerds, and do an oh goddamn oblivion. And if anybody else is surviving, they'll get blizzard and crossbow bolted. As is the, the natural order of such things. Did Lock's attack get interrupted? Not sure. Either way, uh, I, no, I, don't, I don't think so. So, let's learn Kappa! There you go, or rather the ability to heal Kappa. The spell name itself makes it sound like it will inflict it. Chocobo stable! Oh, huh, well, all right then, sure. That'll help me get over to where I was a little faster, at least. Hello! I know how to ride a choco-co-co-co-co-co-co-co-co-co-co-co, all right? Just give me a ding-dang bird. All right, let's get the hick and heck out of here. Chicken ride, let's go! This will speed things up a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Chocobo music, let's go! It's the RPG for me. Final Fantasy is all that I play. I always buy the soundtrack to each game. It is the only thing that I will ever listen to. Hopefully one day won't drive me insane. You may say that I'm a fool. Well, I'm here to say, hey, screw who you. Ah, oh, that's a classic tune. Alright, All right. I don't know if this is where I'm meant to go, but sure looks adjacent to it at the very minimum. Thank you, Noble Steed! When in doubt, ride a chicken into battle. It's just the, you know, the, the smart thing to do. And suddenly, Jidor. Welcome to Jidor, the westernmost town of the world map. Oh, actually, let me switch over to a different character. There we go. I haven't run around. I don't think I've run around as actor yet. I'm gonna try to give every character at least a little screen time, you know? Anyway, uh, this is the third place that I've been to. 
Ah, come on! You're really gonna be doing this? Let's see. This is just all around better in general. Okay, uh, I'll buy a white dress, I guess. Because apparently this is significantly better than actual armor. Who'd have ever guessed that? Okay, uh, maybe if I sell some of these various things that I've got. Don't need all these great swords for one thing, or all of these damn plumed hats. Don't need this, or any of that. Hold on to any of that stuff. Don't, don't need any of that. Although that seemed to only give one thing, which makes me feel like I probably shouldn't have sold it. Yeah, the cost was only one. Kind of having some regrets on that one. Oh, uh, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Life, uh, li li life comes at you crazy style sometimes, you know? Anyway. I don't want to sell the runic blade right now. I'm gonna hold on to that for a little bit while longer if it's all the same with y'all. Thank you, thank you. All right, so with that, I guess I'll also buy a Shinobi gear and two mithril vests, I suppose. We'll put those things. Always a good idea to die less often. That's what I always say. And da -da 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 -da. there you go. There you go. Let's uh, sell this stuff off so that we don't get ourselves all confused. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably will. I'm not very bright. Okay, that should 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 be good. Ugh, how many times am I gonna have to go to a dang store? I swear. All right, actually, no, I should probably be scanning this area more thoroughly. I was just kind of randomly running forward. Anything else down here? Those don't look like doors. Those look like windows. So I'm going to go ahead and say nah. A while back, in order to maintain this town's upscale imagery, they made it too expensive for the poor people to live here anymore. Seems that in their defiance and anger, they went and founded their own town up in the valley between the mountains up north. I mean, that would definitely make sense. That's uh, not exactly a cool move. These folks in Zozo don't have an ounce of integrity among the whole sticking lot of them. Don't trust a word they say, or go down any dark alleys. Or even turn your back on anybody for that matter. Hmm, yes. Class warfare. Fun. Good times. Glad everybody is having some of that. 250 per night? Sure, we'll take another nap. Why not? Just in case it triggers some sort of story-based reaction. You gotta make sure. Plus, I don't know, maybe we took some tiny scratch damage before we got to this town. I don't think that I did, but yeah, there you go, we're making sure. Alright, I don't have any money anymore, so I can't buy any new weapons, but I'll look. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's a new sword for him, that'd be pretty cool. Ah, oh, new weapon for you. Yep, and a bunch of scrolls. Okay, well, I guess I, I can afford Kaiser Knuckles. That's something I can do, so that's what, I'll, that's what I'm gonna do. There you go, substantial boost! Very nice. Okay, that'll do, that'll do, thank you very much. Let's see, anybody else? I'm not even gonna bother looking in the relic store. I mean, my goodness. I saw a flying girl covered in light soar off towards the northern mountains. Did you now? The divide in social classes is blatantly obvious around here. All the middle class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folks, though, are allowed to live up in the north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. Fascinating, okay, sorry, it, it snuck on a rose bush. Welcome to the world famous Jador Auction House. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats looking to bid on the most premium or rare items one can get their hands on. Yeah, but in a universe where all you have to do is well up on some monsters for a few hours, you'd think the money wouldn't really have that much worth anymore. Every once in a while, one of those shady kids from Zozo wanders down here looking for an easy mark. Be on your guard, okay? Ah, delightful. Pickpockets. Street urchins. Ain't that just oh so very fun? He said with intense sarcasm. I'm sorry, it's just I've been pickpocketed a lot in video games, and it never leads to good times. Okay, well, I mean, admittedly, in the long term, I suppose it does, but it's still annoying at the time. Today's auction's over. Well, ain't that a bummer. First time I've been here. Doesn't look like the kind of place a down-and-out bum like me belongs. You're obviously not from around here. My goodness, your posture is atrocious. Yeah, well, you smell like yeast. Oh, 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 there's nothing I can't buy. Oh, are you an admirer of fine art as well? No? How utterly uncivilized! I want one of those legendary treasures that brings back departed souls. None of the other rich folks have one yet. What? I've heard you can get one in the Imperial capital of Vector. Well, that's interesting now, isn't it? Some truly valuable works of art can be acquired at this auction house. Probably not by the likes of you, though. I will bonk you something fierce. I am a king. Then let's buy lots of stuff today, too. Oh, how could I say no to those adorable little eyes? Ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, and I can't even talk to lady types up there? That's a bummer. I can't even talk to Auctioneer Joe? And where was even the point? Alright, no idea if that's something that's going to be, like, worth of any, you know, like, of any import at some point in the future or not. I'm gonna be an opera singer when I grow up. Eh, you don't know where the opera house is. It's way south of here. Alright, noted, noted. Welcome! Oh, dear lord, so much stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like anything new, though, so that's good. <laughs> that's good, because I'm broke. Broke as hell is what I currently is, like you. That's a big house! Hello, hello, hello. The Oza's Mansion. You're the spinning image of our fair Maria! Wait, have you heard of her, you say? She's the famous opera singer Maria! I'm, uh, gonna go ahead and say you probably mean her. Just, just, just spitballing on that possibility. I'm just saying, I, I kind of doubt, you know, it was him. That's just all I'm saying. Anyway, what? This one looks obnoxiously familiar. It sure does. Why did somebody paint him? That reminds me. He's not even dead, is he? He just ran away. Weird. A picture of a lovely lady. That it sure do be. Dying, son. Looks like a suit of armor. That's a bucket. That's a painting of a bucket. Appears to be a painting of a lamp. A lamp? Oh, I thought it was two vases. A beautiful still life of flowers. It's almost as if they were alive, but they're not. That would be silly. A treasure chest on canvas. An open treasure chest. A painting of an old urn. These are some interesting purchases. Also, wow, the bulk of your house is basically just dedicated to being an art gallery. I mean, I guess if you're just that stinking rich, what do you got to lose, huh? But how odd. Huh. All right, then, man, if that, that's how you want to do it, go for it, I suppose. Doesn't seem like there's anything of importance going on at this exact moment, at least. All right, the town of Gidor doesn't seem to have a grand ton of things going on. At least not now. I don't know, I get the overwhelming suspicion that at some point something might. I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Literally and or figuratively, depending on the situation. Alright, so I guess I want to go way south. Like as south as south could possibly south. I mean, I guess not as south as the map, but you know, as south as I can on this land mass. And now I'm at the Opera House. The Opera House is closed. Can I at least what? Can I at least watch what is very obviously a Simpsons Histories video back there? No. All right, fine. Rude. All right, so uh, that didn't go according to plan in any shape, way, or form. Now did it? All right, and then a bunch of monsters are going to try and murder me, as if that were new. It's not. Freaking bugs. You're gonna get punched, bug! Bug punch. And then a few crossbow bolts upside the head. And then I freeze you too. Yeah, ta 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 ta. All right, so that's cool and great and great and cool and everything, but um, hmm. Bit of a oopsie poopsie doopsie loo, and now isn't it? Let's see. Oh, I guess I can very quickly explore this general area. I mean, they did make talks about the mountains, and that being where Terra ended up going off to. So, hmm. Maybe that's where I'm expected to go, but it doesn't really look like I can get to anything from where I currently am. We're taking a look, at least, before I just kind of haphazardly run around a town like an absolute moron for an hour and a half. Might as well at least make sure that it's not an option before I give up, you know? Also, making that money back! In fact, actually, that little itty bitty little sliver of land looks like it just might be what I'm looking for. Ha! Who'd have thunk it? All right, it's the Poe people town. They put their houses in the shape of a question mark. Oh, well, ain't this just a nifty tune? Hello, Sozo. Never heard of the place. Okay. Huh, this definitely has a different ambience to it now, don't it? Hey, yo, you dead? Uh, oh, okay. 
I guess this place really is, in fact, feral. <laughs> Full to the brim with ne'er do wells. I see how it is. All right, then fine. Damn, I, I, I wasn't expecting a town to have monster encounters in it. Eye drops! Yo! Actually, I think I have the maximum capacity of those still, so... I don't really think that really mattered too, too, too much, but thank you! Thank you! Fascinating! All right, so uh, you're just a corpse for the sake of a corpse, huh? Oh, yeah, no. Okay, well, you either... Oh, great people here! You can trust everything they say! So you say... Uh, hi. A girl? Nope. Ain't seen no girls lately. And there definitely ain't none on the top floor of this building, so don't even bother checking. And off I go. Hello? I heard there was a lady type. Are you the lady type I was looking for? What? Oh. Okay. Um. Gonna be completely real with you. I kind of got caught off guard a wee bit by this. I wonder if I could suplex this giant-ass dude. That'd be pretty baller. Okay, well, if you're gonna miss with a tiny-ass knife, now I'm beginning to wonder. Please suplex it. Yo! Saban! All right. Uh. Oh. Am I alone in thinking that that was going to be significantly more of a problem than it ended up being? I felt like a boss or something, almost. Anyway, oh. Uh. I, uh. Uh. Well, that seems... It's already 12. It's 2. What? Great people here. You can trust everything they say. What's going on? All right, I'm all kinds of confused. Back attack! Uh-oh. Ah, your back attack was unsuccessful, you big dumb nerd. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what. All right, uh, then what if we stole from you? What have you got to say about that? Eh. Okay, well, it didn't work this time, but it might have, and that potential should definitely have you quaking in your boots, except you're dead now, so I guess not so much, but whatever. Uh, what exactly is the... the haps? I don't know if I like the implications. Hey, no cutting. Get in line. I'm not. I'm asking for information. All right, I... I am I am worried for many reasons. Another back attack! Damn vile dancers. Or, uh, okay, a veil dancer, whatever. Kind of a massive difference. A high potion? You didn't even take any damage, you weirdo. What are you healing off? What is the long-term goal? You're really gonna play it all like that? Oh, he suplexed the dancer. Just straight up suplexed them into the goddamn universe. My goodness. Into the core of the earth is where they went. Alright, uh, if you guys could maybe stop with the alive bee, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty awesome of you. Man, ah, throwing a big knife! Wow! Wow! Alright, okay. Definitely not a fan of your entire existence. You need to die yesterday. Throw a big shiny knife. How dare you, sir! Huh. All right, well, at least we're getting a pretty decent amount of EXP from our experiences here. Okay, let's just go ahead and heal ourselves up a bit. Yeah. Before we walk into what I can only imagine to be a very bizarre situation. A lot of stairs. A lot of people sneaking around. Another hill, guy, I guess. I don't even know how this dude managed to hang out up here. How did you even fit on top of the staircase? That don't make any sense. Don't look like you'd be able to fit. You'd just be knocking the walls over or something. I know a lot of the sprites tend to get bigger when we're in battle with them, but you're literally called the Gygus, so I can only assume that you are, in fact, friggin' gigantic. Also, could you please go away now? Thank you. You know, sometimes you just have to politely ask. Most people wouldn't think that that would work, but it often does. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, okay. I have to walk in. Hello, Brigand Glove. My, 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 my. Brigand's Glove, huh? All right, can't use it on you. Uh, let me guess. Maybe lock? Yep, a leather glove designed to aid in banditry. Changes the steel command to mug. You have my curiosity. 
Let's see. Let's have you wear the sprint shoes for me. Thank you. So we still have that. All right. I am intrigued by that. Uh, I don't seem to be able to... That guy is just jumping from window to window. Ever so slightly suspicious. Um... I was told the top floor of this building was a thing, and a bunch of people went up here, so... What the friggity frick frack? What the frick frack soda crack? Alright, um... Hmm. Any other rooms maybe I was missing? Oh! Ah! I see! I see! That's what we're doing. I guess that's why that guy was doing that. To make it very obvious. Fair enough. Uh, hello? Does anybody want to explain to me what the hell any of this is going on about? More importantly, do I want to ultimately know? Am I going to regret the fact that I know things? I guess that's the real question. That did so much damage! What the hell, lady? Friggin' disgusting! Disgusting, why would you go and do that? Now I gotta go and do this mess. Oi! My watch second hands is pointing at the four. Okay. That doesn't really do much to help explain the situation. Seconds? They're divisible by 20. Why is everybody doing weird time math up in here? I am all kinds of confused. Ugh. All right. What the hell is even going on right now? If anybody anywhere would like to tell me, boy howdy, would I ever appreciate it. Okay, apparently we're now going to plunder. Oh, assuming he lives long enough to be plundered. Like a pirate. Couldn't steal. All right, glad we did it. Interesting. Do you think that maybe... I have the ability of the item without being able to use the item now? I wonder if that's possible. I suppose the only one, the only real way of being able to check is a, to eventually change the weapon, but it's also his strongest weapon, so I don't want to do that. How tall is this building? Okay, just, uh, okay, can't get into that little crevice area. No did, no did. Uh... I see. Okay. So, this is how we're doing things, huh? All right. Okay. Keep ourselves at full health because these freaks mean serious business. Eventually, I'm going to reach the top of this place, and then I will finally have answers. Okay, what a I don't know who that was, but it seemed a little foreboding. The Burning Fist. Is that a weapon? It is. A good weapon, too. All right. The Burning Fist it is. I wonder if it does fire damage. Probably not, but you can dare to dream. Okay. Uh. Hello. What brings you fine folds up here on this fine sunny day? Do you need to pass by? Deepest apologies. I did not mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? I see. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I dare say that people in this town may all be lying 100% of the time. That is the best summation that I can come up with. I'm just going to assume that I was unable to suplex this man, so I'm not even going to try. And instead... There we go. He also said, I'm not good in a fight, so... All that business. I'm assuming he can probably kick my ass with one of his super moves, probably. So, uh, I'm just gonna not take any chances and attack full force for a while, if it's all the same with you. A high potion! Okay, well, luckily... That wasn't... I see. And then, protect. Uh, does that work like a Pokemon move, or... Oh. It seems to do literally nothing. All right, that works for me. Unless... It's a counter, maybe? We're gonna find out real fast. I'm bio-blasting you. Uh, yeah, nope, doesn't seem so. 
All right, uh, you go ahead and try and plunder, my dude. We'll see if that does anything. All right, well, that could be a problem. Oh, cool, we stole a jeweled ring. Nice. Okay, uh, let's just bioblast again. And we'll just also hopefully grab onto one of those dude that healed them. Okay. And Edgar's dead. All right, uh, if we could just bring our pal to life. Thank you. And a double thank you. All right. Slightly confused as to what on earth is going on right now. Uh, you go ahead and plunder. We're going to go ahead with a... Uh -oh. I don't know if I like any of what this is all about. Maybe we should be defending. I'm going to defend. Let's defend. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for that guy to come back. And I feel like I was probably right to do so. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and do that to be on the safe side. Death blow or a cannon. There we go. Top everybody off a little bit. That seems like a good idea. Here's the crossbow. Oh. All right, looks like I may have, uh, may have stolen everything that I can steal from this guy already, but still. There we go, neat. I still don't have any actual clue what the hell is going on in this town, or where I'm going, why I'm doing it, or what I'm going to find, but, uh... There you go, I guess. This looks like I might be the top of the building. That's the closest thing to a boss I could think of. Also free stuff. Hermes sandals. Okay. Are those, like, the speed... Ah, come on! Like, the, the speed shoes? Is that a thing? Why am I, why am I so bad at everything? Thank you. All right, hang on. Where are you at? Hermes sandals. Winged sandals. Enchanted for speed. Can cast haste on the wearer. That sounds handy. So dang handy that... Oh, boy. Uh, and somebody's got to use that. On top of that, what was the jeweled ring? Prevents petrification. Right. I know I'd seen it before. I just didn't remember what it would do. Um... Let's go with them Hermes sandals on you for now, my dude. That's a new type of speed. And an X-Potion. Neat. Oh! Okay, so it is Terra. Hi, Terra. Are you okay? Terra? Terra? She's frightened. Who's Rammer? What? Well, who, the who, can, who in the heck and heck is you? Who are you? Are you companions of this girl? Yeah. Friend, Tara, is she all right? So, her name is Tara. Tara. Wait, can it really be? What do you know, old man? Oh, dear God. Oh, God, she's rubbing up. Okay, okay, all right. Please, uh, please settle down, friend. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Rama the... Oh, he is apparently also an Eidolon. Rama. You're an Eidolon? I thought Eidolons lived in a realm separate to this, co to this one. Which is weird, because we clearly found one already, so that shouldn't be too surprising, but okay. That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Eidolons come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you without fear of anyone discovering the truth. That's convenient. Why hide the fact that you're an idol? Uh, maybe because there's an empire that wants to capture and subjugate them? Humans and idolons are incapable of coexisting together. I mean, that was, sounds accurate. My grandmother told me that humans and idolons used to live here together side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Eidolons did indeed once used to live together in harmony. At least, until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Eidolons fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Eidolons. Extracted? Uh, 
Any chance of it not being in an incredibly messed up way? After that meaningless war had ended, the Eidolons escaped to a new realm to which they exiled themselves. You know what? That's fair, honestly. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. Understandable fear, I would imagine. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of Eidolons and the rest of that, and thus began the hunt. For Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army without rival. Sorry, I'm going to need to read a little faster. As soon as we realized what was happening, we summoned a massive barrier and forced the humans out. You know what? That's fair. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I nearly escaped the same fate, and now I am here with you. Can, can you help Terra? I, I'd kind of like to have Terra back. She's kind of our friend. Even if she is all glowy now. She seems to have calmed down a little. I think it might be because she knocked herself out by running headfirst into a wall. I called Terra here to me when I sensed that she'd lost control. She responded to that call. Wasn't that convenient. S so Terra's an Eidolon? Apparently. Not quite. She somewhat differs, differs from our kind. She appears to be suffering. She's afraid of what she is. And coming to terms with that crisis is very painful for her indeed. I mean, that is definitely not something you would have expected to have happened to you. What can we do to help Terra? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Well, there must be a way to do this. The others of my kind, who are trapped in Gestal's Magitech Research Facility, may very well have the answers to this crisis she faces. And if we get and in, get inside the facility, you sure we'll find them? The Magitech Research Facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Eidolon's power by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magikite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to become Magikite now, so that I may lend you my strength. M Magikite? Magikite is the source of an Eidolon's power, and its purest form. When an Eidolon dies, the only thing remains is that Magikite. W but... I, uh, dying seems a little unnecessary. What's happening? These here are what remained of my companions who fell as we fled the Empire. And finally, I shall give to you my power as well. Uh, that, that, that seems unnecessary. I don't think you need to do that. Yeah. Okay. I see. I, um, don't exactly know how to use this, nor do I feel entirely comfortable using corpses as power batteries. You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself into Magikite. He gave up his life to help us. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the world will be beyond saving, and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Obtained Rama Magikite. I see. Kate Sith! Siren and Kieran. I mean, I know that Kate Sith is also a thing in, in Scottish myth mythology, and it has meaning beyond, you know, the Final Fantasy VII character, which obviously this happened beforehand. I know, okay? Tara, wait for us. Uh, do we know how to use this stuff? 
Is it a key item? No. Uh, can we equip it? Is that a thing? Does not appear so. Huh. Okay. Oh! Hi, guys! Everyone's here? I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. Um, okay. That? Wh what are you two doing here? So, the Empire has been trading magic from idolins. Rather messed up, gotta say. Cells, was all that true? She ain't speaking up, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, oh, I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure, but I've heard rumors to that effect. That's pretty messless, I'm not gonna lie to you. I suppose now it shall be that we make haste in discovering some method with which to gain convert access to this factory that lies within the Empire. We'd best split up again into two groups. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. Speaking of which, why did you leave? That would seem to be the wisest course of action to now take. I'll go then. I know the factory pretty well. But are you gonna just go there all by yourself? That seems a little nice. Don't sweat it. All the company sell us too. Lock? Are you certain? I'd prefer if the game shows what characters we're, we're gonna go where, so I don't have to. Might it be more advisable, however, to undertake this particular mission in greater number? Okay, so they're mandatory, and I can choose the other two. I see. Okay. All right. Well, I would actually like to use Cayenne, like I said that I would in the past. And I suppose we'll also go with Sabin and hope that not including Edgar in this next segment will, in fact, not ruin something important. Guys, it's fine. Just wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry. Everything will still go according to plan. We've got this. If we do need to change party members, I guess we'll have to head back to Narsh. When the game is uncertain as to which characters are in the party, it just has generic text, and I don't know who to end up having say any of it. And that's going to be a bit of an issue for me, and I'm going to work on it. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire's base is on the southern continent. But they've all closed all harbors. No ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. After all, the old saying goes, when there's a gill, there's a way. Lock. Yeah? Why are you coming with me? Huh? Well, there's the rumor about a legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory and all. I thought I might have a look around. Winky face. Alright, well at least the characters that are super duper important to plot will stick around. Also, hi, ghost. It seems you have some magicite. Want to learn more about Eidolons? That would be nice. To use an Eidolon, you must first equip it by selecting Eidolons from the abilities menu. To summon the Eidolon in battle, select the name of the Eidolon by scrolling to the top of the magic command list. You can only call upon each Eidolon once per battle. Learning spells. When an Eidolon is equipped to someone, that character will learn spells over time? The set of spells each Eidolon teaches is different. The higher a spell's acquisition rate, the faster it will be memorized. Some Eidolons are permanently increased in attribute like strength, magic, HP, or MP. Hello! When the character who has them equipped gains a level. These are stat modifiers. I see. Baves all enemies in lightning. Gradually restore the party's HP. Silences all enemies. Confuses all at cat rain, huh? Okay. That's fascinating. Hmm. Okay. So, oh, 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 oh. I see. At level up, magic plus one. At level up, stamina plus one? Interesting. This one doesn't seem to have that. And at level up, HP plus 10%. Ooh, boy. You don't say. 
Oh no, there's a degree of customization here that I am deeply intimidated by. Okay, okay, okay. Um, could you guys give me a second to just think this over real quick? <laughs> l l let me figure out what I want. Okay, so for the time being, I think I figured out what I want to do. Okay. For Locke, I'm going to give him Rama. I think that makes sense. It gives him some magical capabilities. It boosts his stamina, which is good. And poison makes a lot of sense for someone of his class. So that's what we're going to go with. For Kayen, I'm going to go with Kieran. He's a guy who defends people. It makes a lot of sense for him to be able to do things along the lines of being able to, you know, heal up people and stuff. So that just makes a lot of sense. No other bonuses on, for, on level up, unfortunately, but that'll have to do, you know? Next up, I'm going to be giving Siren to Sabin because HP 10% up, that just seems really good for someone like him. He's already basically a tank, which leaves... Uh, it leaves Celeste with... Uh, with uh, Kate Sith, which I guess she already has Kappa, which, by the way, sorry about that, uh, microphone fell again, uh, which I've learned, by the way, I guess it does, in fact, inflict the Kappa status on the target. I just assumed that it was explicitly just healing. Go figure, huh? Either way, magic plus one, always solid, and confuse and float, those aren't bad either by any stretch. So I guess that's what we're going to go with for now. We can always, obviously, change things around if need be. Okay, so, but before I do, I didn't really get much of a chance to do much of anything. Also, I forgot that I already, yeah, okay, he just, he just got magic. Cannot use magic yet, but someday. All right, uh, so much stuff, so much stuff. I don't know how long it's gonna take before they gain access to said magic abilities. Uh, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Yeah, sick fight! There you go, there you go. There you go, you done got yourself plundered. Stole some eye drops, completely unnecessary, but I did it anyway. Cause that is just how we do things here. And then we wailed on the random gobbledygook. I only just realized their names are gobbledygook. I kind of love that. Magic AP2. I see. Saban goes up and uh, he gets even more HP. Also, wow, everybody just has MP now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I take a look at those real quick? Saban, you have a lot of MP. Is that because of the thing I gave you? I can only assume as such. Huh. All right. Fascinating. You know, actually, I have a, a, an interesting theory. Do you need to level up with these items to get these things? Or could I just, like, pass off all of these things over to various characters in order to get them all the same spells? Because honestly, I see no reason why we wouldn't want as many characters to know as the same amount of spells as possible. Like, if everybody in the cast knew how to use Cure, I'd be cool with that. This place is dangerous. Be careful. Don't do anything stupid. Like, trying to jump between the gaps in the buildings or anything. Whoops, I already did that. 